Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. I'm going to show you now how to install the PNY GeForce GTX 760, the Enthusiast Edition PNY's Accelerate series. Pretty nice stuff. A lot of you are probably going to say, oh, well, I already know how to install a video card, but in all honesty, not a lot of people do and are very intimidated. They feel like they're going to break something. So just going to go ahead and show you guys that don't know how to do it, how to do it. This way you'll feel a little bit better with yourself and more confident when you do have to do that upgrade. Or maybe you've been holding off on doing an upgrade because you're intimidated. You don't, you don't want to break anything. Before I learned how to do it, I didn't know how to do it. So, you know, I was very freaked out, but, you know, I just finally said, you know what? Tired of being tired, you know, I, I, I want this to work, so I did it. Take some balls, but you can do it. I want to help you. So right now, this is my GTX 660 Ti from EVGA. And again, I'm going to be upgrading to my GeForce GTX 760 from PNY. This is the OC edition. So first step is I've disconnected everything from the back of my computer. Nothing's connected. Power supply is also disconnected. So, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. So let me go ahead and turn it back around. I have some light shining in there just to make it easier to see things. So first off, let me go ahead and unscrew this. And right now I'm very uncomfortable doing this to you for you because of the angle I'm on. But, again, I want to show you guys how to do it. First screw and bottom screw. All I'm using is pretty standard Phillips head screwdriver. Most cases come with Phillips style screws for the uh, PCI slot covers. Since I am upgrading the card, I'm going to be disconnecting these two six pin PCIe connections, the video card you buy might have two by eights or one by eight, one by six, either which way, all relatively the same. You just got to connect more connections. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. And this guy, again, these are my two now disconnected PCIe connections. Now, if you notice, let me zoom in for you. Right here is a PCIe retention clip. That's to keep the card safe in there. So if you're sh going, if you're shipping the computer, or if you're going to a LAN party and you don't want your card to fall out of its slot, and you look bad in front of all your friends because hey, he doesn't know how to build a computer. That's to keep the card firmly seated inside of that PCIe slot. So what we're gonna do first is just push that connection in. Push. All right. So. This particular motherboard is a little bit more difficult also because of my CPU fan. So it's harder to get my hand in there. You can also use a screwdriver to push that in there, but be very careful. You don't want your screwdriver to stick pop, and you hit a component. This particular motherboard, the Sabertooth Z87, has everything covered. So it's a little bit safer, but there is still that risk. So now that that's pushed in, these two PCIe connections are disconnected and these two screws are removed you can easily pour the card out now the cards out these gold pins that connect into the motherboard don't touch them the grease from your fingertips can mess those up so you could be the cleanest person in the world but you're gonna have greasy fingertips because we're human we touch things and it happens so right now I'm opening up the video card, taking the video card out. All right, and this is the bad boy. Again, the PNY GTX 760 OC, the Accelerate Edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and this little piece I just showed you, the PCIe retention mechanism, retains right into this little hammer, if anything, right here. So card clips in. That little retention mechanism comes back here and it holds your card in place. So right now I am going to, and let me zoom it in for you a little bit. Now I'm simply going to, first off, I'm going to match this right over here. And then second, I'm going to match 
these pins right to this so that everything comes in. So I just push the card in and watch that little hammer. It's not seated, but it's not seated properly just yet, but it's enough so that the card doesn't fall out. Now watch that little clip. If I push it in, you would have seen this little clip move up. So let me move it again and let me zoom in for you just so you have a better understanding of how that clip works. Okay, so I'm going to pull the card out. Oops, push it back in. Pull the card out. Okay, so now again, watch right here. I'm going to sit, seat the card. Okay, now that's in there, I'm going to push it in. And you saw that move straight up. So now it's perfectly seated in there. Let me zoom out. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw in those Phillips head screws. They are also thumb screws, but I like to use a screwdriver. All right. All right, that one's screwed in. Sorry, I got to get in the way of the light. And that one's screwed in. And now connect these guys back to the card again. Luckily, this card has two PCIe by six connections. So the ones I just took out, I can put back in. I'll do one by one just to make it easy. Click, you'll hear it click in place. And I'll put in the second one. Clicks in place. Easy enough. Now let me go ahead and turn the case around so you can see the back of the computer. Cards in place. Two PCIe's, HDMI, DP. Little grill for it to breathe. And we're pretty much done now. Now's the fun part. Connecting it to the computer. Showing you guys, well, connecting it to the computer. I'm also going to show you guys how to install the video drivers. For those of you that don't know how to where to download them, all that good stuff. And then also do some benchmarks and uh, compare them to my GTX 660 Ti. So you guys have a better understanding how everything works. You know I like to teach you guys as much as I can. All right, so that's pretty much it for right now. Oh, one thing I did want to show you. For those power supplies that do not have PCIe connections, the video card comes with these two. This, both of these plug into your Molex connections which if your power supply doesn't have PCIe by six pins for your video cards you definitely have some Molexes so you would plug one in here one in here so that's pretty much it for this guy and now I'm going to walk you through installing the drivers and then I'll go ahead and do some performance and all that good stuff so enough for now Iggy out bye alright guys so I got my I got everything plugged in, PNY GTX 760 OC, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this puppy on. Alright, everything looks really big right now because the drivers are not fully in there. It's uh, redetecting everything right now. Can't load Precision X 64-bit because the drive, the video card is not fully in right now. It's detecting it right now. Seemed pretty quick. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and even though I might have them already just to show you guys. So I'm going to go directly to NVIDIA's website and click drivers, GeForce drivers, find my video card so this will be the 700 series then I will pick the 760 Windows 8.164 bit and click start search alright and it's November 18th the Wickle drivers so I'll go ahead and download those agree and download save shouldn't take too long Two minutes, I'm on a 25 by 25 connection. Not the fastest, but not the slowest. 
All right, so now I'm done downloading, and I do have the drivers already installed, but just for the for those of you that have never installed the drivers, I'm going to show you how to do it. Plus, it's also good. I've swapped cards just to have everything re-register, so I click on what I've just downloaded. All right, it's asking me for the past path to install. I'll just choose default for now, click OK. It's going to be extracting them now. and then click agree and continue be sure to read through the licensing agreement click agree and continue choose custom advanced and then next the reason I say to choose custom advanced be it your first install your second install whatever even if you have drivers so that you can select perform a clean install what that does it uninstalls all the other stuff and then right after reinstalls and then click next it says removing previous versions shouldn't take too long now it's preparing for installation now installing the drivers the applications physics and all that other good stuff alright I'm going to uncheck the shortcut and choose to launch NVIDIA GeForce Experience close checking for some updates alright so here I'll click on my rig my new GeForce GTX 760 my CPU my memory resolution driver version and again Microsoft Windows 8.1 Pro all that good stuff and I'm gonna go ahead for good measures and just reboot the computer I'll spare you guys the details that's basically it for the NVIDIA video drivers installation and now your video card should be running 100 percent you can make a bunch of little tweaks to to the drivers but I just want to get you up and running and you guys can have fun on the others on your own now it's time for some benchmarking alright see you guys later bye